the Pillars of Creation. It's a very dramatic name for a very dramatic looking celestial object. Made famous by an image of it taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995, it's been in the news again recently because of an even more spectacular view obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope. The Pillars of Creation are formations of gas and dust of a type known to astronomers as cold molecular pillars, or elephant trunks, because of their shape. Elephant trunks are found in molecular clouds, regions of interstellar matter where new stars are being formed, and particularly in the neighborhood of very bright hot stars called O and B type stars. The Pillars of Creation are part of the Eagle Nebula, M16, an open cluster of young stars 60 to 70 light years across lying about 6,500 light years away in the constellation Serpens. The cluster contains more than 8,000 stars and is in turn part of a diffuse emission nebula or H2 region known as IC 4703. The iconic 1995 Hubble picture of the pillars which was built up from 32 separate images became one of the most famous astronomical photos of the 20th century, appearing on everything from coffee mugs and t-shirts to the cover of National Geographic magazine. But to scientists, its significance was in enabling a better understanding of the processes taking place within the nebula. Looking inside the Pillars of Creation, astronomers found the first clear evidence for so-called evaporating gaseous globules, or eggs. These are knots or globules of denser gas which act as a shield against harsh ultraviolet radiation and so prevent new stars from being blasted apart while they are still forming. Effectively, they serve as incubators for protostars. Observations by the Spitzer Space Telescope in 2007 led some astronomers to suggest that a supernova had occurred in the Eagle Nebula around eight or 9,000 years ago. Since it takes light from the nebula about 6,500 years to reach us, it was theorized that the blast from the explosion may already have destroyed the pillars. But subsequent observations by Hubble in 2014 undermine the case for the supernova and it's now believed that the pillars will survive in some form for at least the next 100,000 years. Our latest and most stunning view of the pillars of creation has come from the Webb Space Telescope. Newly formed stars are seen as red orbs, while features that look like lava at the edges of some pillars are ejections from stars that are still forming within the gas and dust.